So there is uh, a race for Congress in the 10th district. That's not too far from me. That covers uh, Brooklyn Heights and I believe uh, in Lower Manhattan. Activists call you lying new. Fake progressive demand she drop Congress bid. Let's see what this is about. Chinatown restaurant and home aid workers scattered outside Assemblywoman You Line News office Wednesday chanted You Line New Shame on You and calling on the woke Democrat to drop her bid in the crowded 10th con Congressional District race. The immigrant workers say New Democrat Law Manhattan who has billed herself as a champion of the working class is a fake progressive who sides with exploitative sweatshop bosses over community members. I am standing out against you line for selling out workers for having the gall to then run for Congress. Vincent Cowell, a former employee at the now shuttered eatery Joy Lock Palace said at the rally. Wage theft is rampant today because people like you, Ryan, you know, took look the other way. Carl and his colleagues were awarded one million dollars in back pay from a lawsuit they won in 2019 against Joy Lock Palace after the Chinatown restaurant shuttered. The workers say they still haven't been paid by their bosses and they think that news crew's close relationship with Patrick Mark, their old boss, and their three other co-owners disqualifies her from the race. New actually presented a community hero award to my sweatshop boss, the boss that owes me years of wages. Kyle said allege. Hmm. And she's right here. Chinatown activists called on Assemblywoman Yu Line New to drop out of the race 10th Congressional District. The rally Wednesday in Chinatown outside the Paul's office was attended by around 100 people and was organized by the Youth Against Sweatshops and Chinese Staff and Workers Association. The two local groups are demanding that new withdraw her bid for Congress and get workers the money they are owed. The groups say despite being their representative in Albany, Neil has done nothing to help them since taking office. She sold out the community, organizer Sarah Ann told the Post. We are urging people not to vote for her, not to be fooled by a fake progressive <coughs> and allege that so-called sweatshop bosses in Chinatown are able to exploit workers because they have the approval and air of new who has been endorsed by the left-wing Working Families Party. It's such a deep hypocrisy, the activist said. We know a lot of politicians are hypocritical, but it's really destructive to have the new face of progressism do this. Also, in attendance at the rally Wednesday were home care workers for the Chinese American Planning Council, which Chinatown co uh, community members have been accusing for years of scheduling workers for 24 hour home care shifts but paying only employees for 13 hours of work. Uline is always talking about how she help us end the 24 hour workday. But behind the scenes, she's stabbing us in the back. Lai Yi Chen, a CPC home attendant who has worked 
years of 24-hour shifts said at the rally. 24-hour shifts have destroyed my body and my family. They are torture. Another speaker at the rally, Kathy Lu, said news claim that she represents Asian woman rings hollow when the lefty politician doesn't support the most vulnerable Asian woman in her own community. Many of us young people look to you, Yulan, a woman of color who has shed tears for the suffering of immigrants who claims to stand with working people, but you have lied and misled us, Lou said. While you cry on TV about how Asians are poor, you lie and attempt to silence Chinese immigrant workers who are actually fighting to get back the wages that their bosses stole from them. You smear the home care workers who are fighting to end the 24-hour workdays, she continued, gathering cheers from the other protesters. News campaign responded, Uline has always stood with workers on the picket lines, in the legislature, and now as a candidate for Congress. And said she was a leading voice, and said she was a leading voice for, since 2017 for the end of the 24-hour workday. Uline will continue to use her voice and coalition building to advocate for all workers, the campaign said. Mark did not return a message seeking comment. Wednesday's rally wasn't the first time New has been accused of hypocrisy. The state lawmaker who has pushed for cutting police funding first moved to the district she is seeking to represent in Congress because safety issues near the projects in Harlem prompted her <laughs> to move in with her, what's that, tech bro, then fiancé in the financial district, the Post exclusively reported in June. The newly drawn congressional district that she's hoping to represent includes almost all of Lower Manhattan, including Chinatown, as well as swaths of Brownstone, Brooklyn, and encourage residents in the newly drawn district not to vote for New in the August 23rd Democratic primary, saying it's dangerous to have her advance to a national position. On paper, she has a platform for working people, but she very much uses the power she has to further exploit the community. So apparently, if this is all true, that shows the crooks in all races are politicians. <laughs> you know, I mean, the Chinese people are complaining about this woman and uh, the 24-hour work and being paid for 13 hours, the shreds, sweatshop work, they want a million dollars and still they haven't received that money. So these people do have a lot of legitimate grievances. 